Hey, John Feldman from Memfault. Today we're going to run through who we are, what we do, and how companies like Logitech and Willow are leveraging us to discover and fix firmware issues in the field. Our mission is to enable hardware teams to ship better products faster. This focus comes from deep frustration experienced by our founders. As firmware engineers at Pebble, Oculus, and Fitbit, they spent countless hours investigating one-off customer support requests, reproducing issues, and cracking devices open to debug problems. Over time, they built systems to automate this process and started Memfault to make them broadly available. So at the center of Memfault are tools to help engineers discover and fix issues faster. Today, we do this in three ways. First, we automate the collection of detailed diagnostics information so that hardware teams find out about issues quickly and immediately have all the information they need to gauge impact and get to a root cause. Second, we provide a turnkey OTA system you can use to deploy patches and updates to subsets of your fleet without having to build infrastructure from the ground up. And third, we offer flexible telemetry to understand fleet behavior over time and dig into things like connectivity or battery life so your team doesn't have to guess whether a user is having real battery life issues or not. So why approach this specific problem? Outside of our founders having the emotional scar tissue from the many hours spent hunting down bugs at their desk, we understand that getting data out of embedded systems is hard. At any given time, you're dealing with added variables of different protocols and MCUs, and maybe a few hops any data would have to make to become available. We see teams grappling with this complexity all the time, and by fixing this piece of the puzzle, we're enabling a new level of productivity. So let's jump into a demo. We'll start off by digging into issues. Right away, what you're seeing is a list of unresolved issues that have been aggregated and deduplicated. Our product makes it crystal clear what type of issues your customers are running into, what software versions are impacted, when the issues started happening, and how many devices are impacted. This enables you to make data-driven decisions on what to tackle first. To start digging into an issue, we just have to click on it. There's a lot of data on this page, so I wanna let you look it over, and I'm just gonna call out a few specific pieces. At the top, we're showing you a more detailed impact analysis for this specific event, providing software ranges and occurrences over the past 30 days. Down here, you'll see some of the debug information. We've remotely collected all the information an engineer would get if they had the device connected to a debugger on their desk. On the left, you see a full backtrace of each thread, so you know what the device was doing at the time of the issue. On the right, we can first look at local variables and arguments. What data was the device working with as the issue occurred? And we can even do one better. In the global variables tab, you can look at every bit of device state. You can answer questions like, was my Bluetooth connected? What was the state of my file system? Is the device correctly initialized? At the bottom, a hex viewer displays the raw memory so you can investigate issues like memory corruption. And on top of all this, we run analyzers in the background to surface interesting information right away. Here, you can see that we identified some threads that are running out of stack memory. This is a sign that you may be close to stack overflows, which can crash or silently disable your devices. When all is said and done and your team feels the issue is resolved, they just go to the top right and click resolved. If we see the issue in a future firmware release, we'll reopen it and notify the team. So as we mentioned before, not every issue is gonna be a one-time event like a disconnection or a crash. Some are more subtle, like bad battery life or flaky Wi-Fi networking. In these cases, your team would leverage our device level analytics. Say a customer calls and complains about battery life. We can look up that device by serial number and start digging into the data. Using our simple metrics, you can see right away what kind of battery life this device is seeing, and you can start to correlate that with other behaviors like network transfers or CPU on time. I think it's important to call out that these metrics are customizable by your team. And some of our customers are leveraging 100 different metrics, while others only have a small handful. But it's up to you what data you want to collect. So at this point, we found our problem, we've been able to create a fix, and we're ready to deploy. Something that's unique to Memfault is this concept of cohorts. It's an easy way to group devices logically and to deploy different releases to different groups. This allows you to run experiments, 
ship speculative bug fixes to targeted customers, or tweak firmware parameters for some devices. To deploy a new version to our prod cohort here, we just select it in the menu. We can then choose to update the full cohort or to start with a portion of it. This is a great way to start small with an update so new issues can be found before they impact every customer. To recap everything we've discussed, we're going from the discovery of an issue all the way through the deployment of its fix, all while the devices in question remain in the field and your team is able to do the work quickly and efficiently. Thank you for taking time out of your day to learn more about Memfault. And if you have any questions, please reach out to the email here. We look forward to talking to you soon.